Hi guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to make Tinder and I'm going to use something called Amadou. And Amadou is a part of this fungus. I believe you call this Tinder fungus. In Sweden we call it Fnusktika. Fnusktika. Yeah, it's that funny letter we have in Sweden. Uh, an O with two dots. If you put an L behind it you have Öl. And that's actually beer. Good to know. Uh, I have taken one tinder fungus and I have cut, cut it in half. So, you see, this layer, just beneath the grey skin, this layer is called amadou. And that's what I'm going to use. Not this, only this. And since I'm a teacher, I have prepared. So, you peel off. Uh, the gray skin and you have to do it quite immediately when you take the fungus because otherwise it will get very dry and very hard so I've done that with this one here is the amadou as you can see and I have cut it in very very thin slices and I'm going to use those they look like this you see they almost feels like suede. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to boil them in birch ash. And I'm going to boil them for an hour. Well, you can boil them longer if you like, but one hour. And then I'm going to I'm going to bash them. You know. <laughs> Spank them. No. And um and then they're going to dry. So, this video will be two. So in this video, I will show you how I cook the amadou. And then the next video, I will show it to you what it looks like when it's dry. And then I'm going to try to make fire uh, or make it glow by using uh, flint and steel. I know there are plenty of other ways to make fire or glow, but I think this is more bushcrafty, you know. Stuff you find in nature. I didn't find my pots in nature though. But anyway. Ash and water looking something like this. I will show it to you. Okay, as you can see, this is boiling now. Mmm gross. Well, as we say in Sweden, a real gegamoya. So, I'm going to take my fungus and I'm going to put it in here and then it's going to boil for an hour. Approximately. Okay. I have quite a lot. Okay. So. Okay. Now I'm going to show you what it's look like. Follow me. Okay then. You see? Mmm, yummy. Okay, I'm not going to eat this time. I promise you. Okay, now they've been boiling for an hour. So I'm going to take them out of this ash water thing. And then I'm going to do some serious spanking. Let's see. Ew. <laughs> okay, and you're not supposed to breed in that stuff either. Let's see what we got here. Ew. Okay, they really look like coal. I get really hungry. Okay then. There's one. Ew. Gigamoya. Well, 
trial and error with Emily. I know. But if you don't try, you won't learn. As I used to say to my students. Learning by doing. But really, I didn't think, I didn't expect them to look like this. Maybe I did something wrong. Well, it was fun anyway. Okay, that's all I think. So, yeah, going to move the camera. So you can see what I'm about to do. Okay, and I won't, don't want it to fall into the fire. It's too expensive for that. Okay, then. Something like that, perhaps. Okay. Well, let's try this, shall we? I don't know if you can see this. Hmm. Well, it's still very soft, but it's very well black. Hmm. Interesting. Let's keep on doing this. Okay, so I will put them here so they can dry for a bit. Okay then, my poor spork. Okay, that's one. Hmm. So in my next video I will try to use this as tinder with flint and steel. Look! Hmm. I believe that you're also, uh, that you have to, you know, smash it when it gets dry as well. Uh, and when this dry, you should, should roughen up the edges um, so it gets more fluffy. Okay then, maybe I, okay, maybe you shouldn't do it that hard, hmm. but this is fun. Okay, so I'm going to do this with all the pieces. I think you get the message by now, but it's going to be quite interesting to see if this really works next time. I have never done this before, so it's really new. It's very wet. Look, can you see this? Amadou, or I think it's called Tinder now, actually. Okay, thank you for watching. <clears throat> it's been very interesting to do this and I really hope I will <coughs> be able to make some fire next time and um, Some of you have uh, told me that you miss my <coughs> Swedish proverbs <coughs> So I'm going to give you one right now um, As most Swedish proverbs, it's a bit odd uh, Anyway, goes like this Jag anar ugglor i mossen. And if I pr if I translate that one, it will be I sense owls in the bog. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe and share. That would make me very happy. I'll see you next time when I'm going to use flint.